up. He says, hey, guys, so if I have a group of GMB sites in the same metro area and a WordPress site ranked on page one in SERPs, a YouTube channel with videos ranking on page one of Google's video page, and I want to lease all of these as a total package deal to a business owner operating in the area, how do I set up the syndication network for this? Can I feed the RSS feeds from all the GMB sites uh, into the WordPress site blog into one generically branded syndication network or do i need to set up separate networks for each gmb site and wordpress site thank you very much for your comment michael um you know i don't recommend a sep a g or a syndication network for lead gen assets um unless you need them like for example like if you're having trouble getting the lead gen asset to push into the three pack um then you know and a syndication network will help for that then absolutely but if you have, and the other thing is if, if you have all of, like, if you have a cluster of Google, my business profiles for a metropolitan area that are all branded the same, then you could use one syndication network for those. When you talk about grabbing the GMB RSS feeds, I'm not sure what you mean from that, unless you're using our GMB auto poster, which will generate an RSS feed, but you can't just get an RSS feed, at least not that I'm aware of Marco, this may have changed, but is there an RSS feed from the GMB websites yet? Not that I know of. Not not that I'm aware of. Okay. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, there is not an RSS feed from the GMB websites. So uh, our GMB auto poster can, will create a, an RSS feed from the GMB posts that are connected through that auto poster, right? Or that are posted with that auto poster. Um, so you can do it that way. But like I said, you should have a common brand for all of those assets if that's the case if you want to feed them all into one network which again i i'm going to be 100 percent transparent with you guys i'm not building syndication networks for my lead gen assets i build syndication networks for clients because i tell them that it's critical and it is it's because it's, it's brand uh building it's entity validation and brand uh authority building right and so any client I'm going to tell them you should have a syndication network to protect your brand and expand your and to amplify your brand, expand your reach. Right. And also helps to um, build your authority and all that kind of stuff. And for content marketing, all my clients, I suggest we do regular content marketing, blogging that gets syndicated out to a syndication network. That's all true. And it's not just because I want to charge them money, guys. It's to protect their brand and to help them to stay ranked. But for lead gen assets, that's an additional expense. So why implement that until until and unless you need to? Right. So for my lead gen assets that I'm building right now, I'm not using syndication networks. If I have lead gen assets that I do all the other magic that I work to them and they don't end up producing because maybe they're not ranking well or that area ended up being more competitive than I originally thought, um, then I may add a syndication network. But that's only if and when it's absolutely needed. It's kind of like a last resort thing because it's an additional expense that I don't want to have to put up for a lead gen asset if I can get results without it. Now, once you've monetized an asset, a lead gen, or in this case, a uh, multiple assets, once you've monetized them, I've talked about this too. If once you've developed, like for me, when I monetize a lead gen asset, what I do is after several months, you know, two or three months of the service provider paying on time, and there's no issues. If we develop a decent relationship, then I offer at that point to rebrand those lead gen assets after the client, uh, sir, you know, their name. So, so it makes it. It's a lot more legit that way, right? And so, um, you know, like I said, at that point, th once once I would offer the rebranding, then that's where I could upsell them on, hey, since we're going to be rebranding these, what you know, we should also build a syndication network because it's going to help to protect your brand, and we can use that to help continue to push the uh, lead gen assets that I'm going to rebrand. It'll help to continue to keep them producing for you. Blah 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 blah. At that point, we set up a syndication network. Might even set them up on content marketing services. That's an additional charge beyond the lead gen leasing uh, or you know pay per lead fees that I'm charging them, depending on how I've monetized that asset. This is now built, starting to build their asset, right? Syndication network with their branding, building, doing content marketing on their website. So now I'm double dipping, right? Now I'm generating money from my lead gen assets and also working on the client's assets as a separate fee, right? So it gives you a whole lot of opportunity, Michael. But for your lead gen assets, I don't recommend setting up a syndication network unless you absolutely need to. Try to get results with it, without it, guys. I am a firm believer in trying to get the most results uh, or trying to get the best results with the least amount of effort possible and least amount of money invested too. Okay. It's a good hump day today, by the way. I'm liking these questions. So good, good question, Michael. <laughs> 